It's not an easy road, it's like Buju uh, My girlfriend Kuku, one cam like Juju Baby, I was paid and fall, it's like Lulu You don't know, do you? Dopey them like voodoo, do, voodoo. Now I see what Harlem can't defend it Why? They had to get the shop and just hoping Bristol can dead it I feel offended, we don't feel your pendant With them four fingers up, we don't feel the tension Niggas rapping about Mario Bros, you Luigi the most Doing the most, my dopey time turn a boy to a ghost Niggas are boss like Gas King, kinda get from a cut though There's no flokes around it, it's funny that we don't run Joe But ain't it daylight, like we can run a fan Right now you know that we ain't fucking playing I'm Battle TV, this is the Culture 3, make some noise for these two gentlemen yeah. Yeah. Yo, what up, co-host Shake? Go to NoCoastRaps.com, Patreon.com forward slash NoCoastRaps. And I will say this, furthermore, Lex is on my next card. Shouts out to iBattle, get the iBattle app. With that being said, rapper on my right, introduce yourself, former NoCoast champ. Appreciate that. Frat Boy Man, XQZ, Chicago, Man, it's 3D, all that. Gang, gang! And on my left. Hey everybody, my name's Randa! Yeah. Yeah. That's our Universal Battle Realm, Ruin Your Day, and my parents. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need to flip a coin, the man in the Chinese jacket wants to go first. <laughs> Alright guys. Alright. Let's go. Your nose is my nose's Biggest fan. <laughs> yeah, go on and laugh. Y'all like that? Have an autograph. <laughs> Dumb is F U C K. <laughs> Book me versus the less cool me. Great. <laughs> Lex, you cheapskate. <laughs> You've been battling 10 years as the no coast champ. I guess that time is through. We finally took a step down and I did too. I hope you came. I hope you came here with something that you're dying to prove, because it's a pretty dope matchup. Minus you. That's why now it feels like I gotta fight unopposed and still try to be precise with every strike that I throw. I got my eye on the target, no losing sight of my goals, because I really want to hit him right on the nose. <laughs> you need to take some time off. Enough's enough. Your whole career's a crime, dog. Scruff McGruff. <laughs> You've done 40 battles. You're not supposed to be here. You've already beaten most of your peers down in the lowest of tiers. How do you rep no coast when you've been coasting for years? Oh, shit. I guess time travels fast. I had a blast. Either my stock's up or this a financial crash on my way around the world. About to fly half the map, but I just stopped the fuel up on I Battle Gas. I feel like y'all just got me high. This is my debut in the league. There's a lot in the line. A new horizon locked in my eye because I'm finally here between water and sky. Why would I be right. Why would I respect these geeks who challenge me? I could beat you lying down like police brutality. I'm, I'm getting so sick of taking these dull matches. Put a star in the circle. Let's play with a cult magica. Let me let me demonstrate the latest assault tactic. Watch your underground favorite make it a cult classic. You're not my brother in arms, just some less dope relative. Quit bugging me, dog. How'd you get so delicate? Cause there ain't a real bone in exoskeleton. <laughs> And they say you're a good writer, knows his subject and his predicate. I say y'all just judge him on his penmanship to cover up the deficit of how much you fucking suck at all the rest of it. <laughs> that one trick you have in your sleeve might be hot shit in your little amateur league, but the rest of your performance is as bad as can be. You're not a good writer. You're a shitty battler, Steve. <laughs> I'm here to spice it up, though, so show me some obedience, because he began bland and hasn't grown a dozen seasons since, so what good is cooking when homie doesn't season it, and wow. what kind of recipe has only one ingredient? Ooh. Everything about you is basic as hell. You wasted more plates than a table for 12. Ooh. XQZ, you need to pray for some help. If you were such a good writer, you would make a better name for yourself. Ooh. Too many niche 
many niche references and insider jokes of all the styles there are. I hate this kind the most, but don't worry. Even if it gets kind of close, I guarantee I'm still going to win by a nose. <laughs> <laughs> Make some noise for me! Yeah. Yeah. Kleenex at me. That was pretty disrespectful, honestly. And you should know right now that disrespectful shit is snot for me. <laughs> you should know right now that disrespectful shit is, is snot for me. Because on my shit list is not where you want to be. Because I. Oh shit. My, welcome to Water League. <laughs> staring at her drawing a sketch. <laughs> about your career about as much as you give a fuck about mine. I wanted ellipsis, but those Vancouver Grizzlies couldn't bear to see their little Cub Scout die. I was mm. friends with I was friends with weirdos like Ellipsis growing up with their creepy little bugged out eyes, <laughs> making no girls allowed inside the clubhouse signs. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Shit, I could have went the tough route, but I thought the fact we hung out's fine. Should at least when they were done with homeschool, they'd still come outside, but we off that. No pun intended, but it's important that y'all know this random fact. Random is definitely way too good to be here and well above battle rap. He's the clear favorite. And you could see examples of his sheer greatness from his appearances on from his appearances on Ruin Your Days, White People Battle in Weird Places. <laughs> Mexican desert, <laughs> while the sun set behind the dunes in the Pacific Northwest by native tribal ruins and avocados dining room. He probably got to the venue. <laughs> he probably got to the venue tonight. Went to Lex, like, yeah, this is kind of cool, but have you ever considered throwing an event inside a Mayan tomb? <laughs> and, then, and then Smitty walks up, like, how about an event inside a room? <laughs> See, Random only does this for the money. Well, except Lex didn't pay a dime to you. But, you know, it's good exposure for his art. Well, except his last five battles had declining views. But, you know, it's still cool to see your homies from the culture. Well, except no one here really likes this dude. But my point is, he's only here because... Well, shit, now I'm confused. <laughs> see, I'm like you at a music festival high on shrooms. I'm looking for the main stage, and I'm going to find it soon. Burning Man. <laughs> I said, I'm looking no, for the main stage, no. and I'm gonna find it soon, Burning Man. I brought some fire just to show him how a giant move, and I'm moving through. Oh my God. Get your foundation tested like beauty school, no talking. Been saving the shoddy for this random like a uber pool. Who is you? I said, who is you? I'm in a situation where even if I lose, it's cool, because I'm gonna say I won no matter what. I'm playing Father Focus Confucius rules. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey man, I got the juice in NY. I may ride with the Royd scandal. Finna throw the whole void at you. Bang, bang. Troy have you. Your home fleet talking about static? Let them boys amp you. Couple bows to the side of his head. Now all that noise canceled. Roy's hand. I said, Roy's hand. Keep Weave right. Swing by. Floyd jab you. Couple bombs after the hook like the sister Nancy voice sample. I'm trying to spin him. I said, I'm trying to steer him in a... I said, I'm trying to steer him in a near death, 
like an unexpected veer left, duking it out, or catch a boot in the mouth like beer fat. Man up! I'll be outside asking about this pussy. Said, man up! I'll be outside asking about this pussy. HBO real sex. You're built like a. Oh my God. Man up! I'll be outside asking about this pussy. HBO real sex. You're built like a circus contortionist. That's a weird flex. Don't worry about how long I've been doing this or if the style's a little old fashioned because these bitches still don't know how to get rid of me like Close cold cash. Let's go! That's go. round one, y'all! Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Hold it down, it's on random! Hey, I like that rebuttal, man. That was pretty veteran stuff. You saw my ruin your days out there under the Mexican sun, so you know it's no problem for us to take this outside whenever you want. And all that, all that violent gun shit inside your head's hard till I'm breaking both sides like a driver's ed car. <laughs> Why does your whole family have podcasts, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> your, mom, your mom, dad, niece. <laughs> your aunt, Pat, each. His sister has one. He was on last week. <laughs> oh, her dog has fleas? Yeah, blog that, please. <laughs> Yo, I promise your life is way too basic to broadcast. For drama? You even put your relationship on blast, and then you and your wife separated at long last. What happened? Y'all were like two peas in a podcast. That was crazy. Let's go. Yo, maybe y'all would have made it farther if the only time she got to travel weren't just flights to watch your battles. I think when you said you were wow. committed to the ring, you each envisioned different things. <laughs> of course she had to divorce him. For him, their wedding night was like half as important. Caught him pacing around backstage, down by the organ, like, get away, babe, you know I got a title match in the morning. <laughs> I am so sure that you wrote the perfect vows, all sad and adoring, you just couldn't handle it once you actually had to perform them. Oh, so I don't know, is Steve aware that he's the problem or that therapy's an option? I saw your battle. I saw your battles while preparing. Kind of embarrassed Steve and watching, because you have the fucking swagger of a parent teacher conference. <laughs> oh my God. It's, just, it's just so lame and lacking spirit the way you rap your lyrics every verse you ever have. It's like you're ashamed we have to hear it. <laughs> in, in a way. <laughs> yo, yo, I know I am. <laughs> Yo. And in a way, it's kind of sad because no one likes you well enough to explain just why you're bad. So they brought me here to say the things they say behind his back. Wow. Like, I don't know why you haven't left yet, Steven. You probably already booked some event next weekend. You keep on claiming you are best kept secret. Yeah, we all agree. You are best kept secret. Yeah. That's why when I heard I was offered you next, I almost split homes, just didn't want to dupe Lexus. As far as I'm concerned, this is not a true test. Let's make it double or nothing. I'm really talking to X. Uh, of course he wants to be the king and see himself on the throne till he dies over that shit like Elvis at home. Every challenge I've been given, I have not lost once. You've been played by more beginners than hot cross buns. I say, Every challenge I've been given, I have not lost once. You've been played by more beginners than hot cross buns. And when they gave him bigger names, you came prepared and lost. So for the fans that follow you, it makes this paradox, because the battles that you lose are where you gain your share of props, and the battles that you win in, they don't care to watch. That's why saying your closed captions hits the target clearly, because you're really only good for the hard of hearing. I wish I could stop with all the hate. You're such a good sport. It's an honorable trait. When you hear a line you like, the way you nod a lot is great. Then I hear a line you write, not a lot is great. <laughs> Shit, I'm just trying to help him see it clearer than a contact lens. Your whole battle rap career's been one hot ass mess. But if you start to feel like you're not that blessed, don't worry, Steve. I'll come be your next podcast okay. guest. <laughs> <laughs> Make some noise for Randy!
round two. Right. Chicago Steve. You guys remember when uh, when Diddy said we invented the remix? Well, random here invented being a bitch. Let's sneak him beneath the surface and creeping in preachers' churches. About dog, you sound like Aesop Rock if he only made soft rock. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> guys, the goat. Those those multi rhymes are dope. Who the fuck you supposed to be? High kaleidoscope. <laughs> 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 every battle. Oh I said every battle. He's got to remind us of his little spiritual awakening from LSD. It's hella deep. So what's the meaning of life, homeless drifter from Akron, Ohio? Tell us, please. <laughs> Fucking A, the holy land of Akron, Ohio. But he hasn't been back in a while. Because trying to meditate with a rubber factory in the background is really cramping his style. <laughs> <laughs> That it's really cramping his style. Especially after all those field trips there you probably had as a child. Dog, your hood's OG is Dallas Cash. That is just wild. But it's, it's fair. To be, so to be fair, they have a strong poetry community. And I happen to have a sample of randoms. Entitled, The First Time I Did Acid in Akron. <clears throat> I've awoken... <laughs> he even has bad multis inside his poems. I said, I've awoken. I said, I've awoken. The third eye is open. I've transcended time. Pleasant vibes. Witnessing a myriad of colors and textures fly. A beautiful sunset in the distance. Bright yellow with a splash of red inside. I'm mesmerized. Oh, never mind. That's just a Denny sign. <laughs> so no matter how... I said, no matter how... <laughs> I said, no matter how woke you like to pretend to be, I don't respect this guy. Every motherfucking thing you breathe on gets gentrified, and I'm not saying, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying I don't have respect for starving artists. I'm just saying, no one's trying to cipher at the farmer's market. He was, Ohio, bro. Ohio. That's the, that's the sacred ground where your yoga mats laid. I mean, you probably look. I mean, you probably look down on me because I'm in the corporate rat race. But a blue-collar Midwest town, not a lot of gurus really flourish that way. I guess that's why you went out to L.A. But even that's sort of a tourist trap, eh? Going to protests like Save the Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> I know that wandering gypsy shit seemed like a cool idea at first, but now it's hard to cope. Starving broke. Get, Drawing your little cartoons for peanuts like Charles Schultz calls himself a god. Calls himself a god in half his battles. So now that he's here, I bet his heart is broke, knowing he wasn't the first one in battle rap to start a cult. I will never be random. I said I will never be random. Leonardo in a starring role steal the show just from dropping this random fuck like Ari Gold. Dog. It's a wonder. I said it's a wonder anyone knows him. So half the culture is random blocked. The way, the way you. The way you've burned bridges with a couple leagues is like Chuck E. Cheese because you're banned from bots. It's, I'm, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I get it. It's because you've been more stuck up ever since they slid on you like static shock. Cancel culture can be dope when someone who deserves it gets canceled. Give Dan his props. Fucking battle rap's man a mystery. That's how he wants to be positioned to y'all. White kid from a boring town does too many drugs. Fucking mystery solved, but hey. <laughs> hey. If Akron, Ohio was the home I had to go back to, I'd probably choose to be a fucking wandering nomad, too. <laughs> That's round two, Mr. Yeah. 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 Round three. I guess I am a guru. I'm gonna tell you what is the meaning of life. Maybe not being a little bitch and leaving your wife. Oh, oh yes. I, I mean, shit. I don't know. Maybe after this, I will have left them with all the wisdom, but you get it, yoga too, the way you always stretch in the composition. Mm. Wow. With a name like X, you probably hear a lot of algebra shit, like how your value is undefined. I figured out what it is. So if you multiply his battles by the number of rounds that he spit, you come up with the exact amount you should skip. <laughs> you talentless prick. I mean, what happened, Lex? You must have forgot what you told me. Remember? You said how you thought I could be Kobe? 
Dog, why would you throw me Manuja nosebleed? <laughs> 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 This guy is so nasty. You look like your great grandpa's name was Ryan O'Plasty. <laughs> but for real, nah. See, I heard you love my shit too. I heard you were built for the same type of spot as me. I do not agree. Your whole style is obsolete, and I don't like it. Honestly, I hear it. Fucking. I'm probably gonna do it too. But get me so mad. Can you do it? Your whole style is obsolete, and I don't like it. Honestly, no one gives a fuck how good you are at writing on a theme when you rap so fucking bad that I just want to leave. Forget verses. Dog, you should try apologies for this desperate insecurity you disguise as comedy. The only thing these people watching live are going to see is a stand-up guy dying on his feet. <laughs> so don't come here expecting my camaraderie, you giant mockery. This ring tonight belongs to me. and You're on private property. You've been battling 40 years. Yeah, time's forgotten, Steve. Set aside as option B, this dried-up novelty. That's why when we're compared, yo, it kind of bothers me because you embody everything that I'm trying not to be. Dude, I got a confidence Ooh. you won't ever grow, bro. I could show up in leather, rocking a feather boa, smoking a block of Moroccan, and knocking on heaven's door. Got so many, got so many gems in the ring, my legacy will be set in stone. A, a legend, a legend known for pen and poems like Leonard Cohen. Just trust in my own voice, no higher authorities, and won't stop till I am notorious for more fire performances than Hawaiian Islander warriors. Oh, but this is battle rap, so it's all about a gun. We'll check it, y'all. That's how it's done. Think you're the center of the universe? Till I show this revolver around the sun. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mine was better. Fuck you. <laughs> you go home. <laughs> Yo, Lex knew it was about time that he finally asked me. Got the whole I battle family smiling and happy because I'm the god to your Rasta like Haile Selassie. Mm. From now on, if you want me to grace your stage, I'm going to need a few thou like Shakespeare's plays. Mm. But in reality, oh, yeah. but in reality, it's never enough. They will remember me another century plus because I'm impressive as fuck and you, by the time your legacy's up, you'll be lucky to have a park bench plaque that says in memory of. Ooh. So next time you get sick of battle rap and feel like calling it quits, it. just know most of us who've seen you wish you already did. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah. Make, make some noise for random, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Final round. That's what's, that's what's crazy. Like, I never understood why people don't like you. I mean, you've always been supportive to me and generally seem like a cool dude. But then, unfortunately, I watched Mike P versus Dunch on YouTube, where he's in the background between every bar being an unbearably pretentious douche, making snarky <laughs> comments like, I understood that bar, as if their main objective is impressing you and your basement dwelling Reddit crew in half his battles, <laughs> in half his battles, including Pigsty, Mad Flex, and Lou. He says some shit like they're only gonna watch for my rounds, and it's never true. Yeah. I mean, what kind of a pompous little cunt fin are you? Gets on a soapbox about everything just to come off as a somewhat smart dude. Like, you know, Rick and Morty's a microcosm of how our brain hates to uncover harsh truths, but Bojack Horseman deals more. Bro, they're fucking cartoons. <laughs> Pretty over-opinionated for someone claiming to be so unattached. Give this Uber driver one star and a comment under that. The driver was playing mumble rap. Really smart. Every really smart. Everyone needs to know he's so deep and artsy. Just picked out the key to this random pussy like a swinger party. When you're woke, when you're woke, you're reading Reddit threads about our fascist country. When I'm woke, because I can't get comfy from all this mattress money. You trash, bro. No. Like, trash, bro. This is a blast zone. You can't go near it. I should exacto. Reenact Van Gogh's ear with it. You place yourself above everyone. You place yourself above everyone, and yet we're supposed to take his act so serious. Knowing where you belong is right in the middle, like Maslow's pyramid. He's such a narcissist. He's such a narcissist. Anytime he gets a fan to praise anything, it has the same effect on his brain chemistry as when you take ecstasy. Straight desperate. So any attention, any fame, it weighs heavily. It doesn't make sense to me. I thought psychedelic shatter your ego, but with his, it just gained energy. It's like you battled. <laughs> You battled at the bunker. I can't stand that. Because they convinced you that you can rap. Now you're stuck in this really bad lie like the sand trap. You're not a genius. 
You're a dickhead with a notepad and an above average vocab. I'm willing to bet all the money you don't have, you're only a starving artist until you phone dad. You're not even a real. Oh. 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 Go! Go! Talk! Until you phone dad, you're not even a real nomad. You live inside your nose, you're a nose mad being around your head. I said, you're not even a real nomad. You live inside your nose, you're a nose mad being around you makes my nose mad. Ronnie Mullen with the nose grab. I said, yeah. 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 You're not even a real nomad. You live inside your nose, you're a nose mad being around you makes my nose mad. Rodney Mullen with the nose grab. Your nose has been in my corner half the battle. Bitch, pick a side. Should I bet you could snort bigger lines than Disney rides at Christmas time? Fucking. <laughs> oh my god. Looking like, looking like Skrill XQZ. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Looking like Skrill XQZ, Humpty Humpty Hump nose, fucking nose hump of Nostradam. Tell each of your nostrils, I said fuck the both of y'all. Yeah, close them with nose jokes. Stupid. Because he knows them all. <laughs> Eskimo kisses his girlfriend and boom, concussion protocol. <laughs> That face gets swiped across with the tiger claw grip. Another win in Shaolin. Shit's been fire all trip when I get sick of this and start feeling it's time to call quits. I'll use that nose as a punching bag to fight it off with. <laughs> <laughs> in the first ship, we see a man seated. Please note the aerodynamic form. Jets are clearly seen. The spectators are protecting their faces with their hands. They are obviously terrified. 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 